Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so if you haven't heard, we are. This is gonna be our third video with Mobile Fire. They are uh, looking to reboot their channel with um, uh, new work from educational YouTubers, including me. And uh, this is three this is our third out of the four videos uh, we'll be doing with them for this month. And uh, yeah, today's topic is definitely one that is heavily requested. Okay, it's gonna be very similar to our how to get 10 CS per minute video. Um, but it's, it's very much going to be about how to keep your lead from the laning phase. How do we not lose my lead? This is a common question. I got a lead in lane. I lost the game. What happened? How do I keep my lead? All right. So here I have two games for you. And it's very important to kind of um, uh, keep your lead because quite often by you know, have by, by, by through poor decision making or maybe suboptimal decision making, you might just... Um, see your lead evapor evaporate to the point where you didn't even realize you're losing and all of a sudden your counterpart is three levels up on you, right? So I want to show you two games today, right? Um, we're going to be looking at the mid-game decision-making and uh, I want to show you one example where, um, you know, this is a story most of you have heard. You win lane or you, you do decent in lane, all of a sudden you fall behind and then you guys just lose fights straight up due to item at disadvantage or level disadvantage, usually level disadvantage, like level is really important, all right? Um, level XP disadvantage and uh, yeah, how can, what can we do to prevent this slash make this work in our favor, all right? Um, so very much all mid game decision making ideas, very heavily based around waves and what you should be doing when certain things happen in the game, like your team fights, all right? So the first game I have for you is gonna be one where we do this poorly and we lose because we failed to keep our lead. And the other one is one where we do this fairly well and we keep our lead and end up winning the game, all right? So let me show you. We just started through the mid game. We're just 14 minutes in. You can see here the score is pretty, pretty, pretty good, right? Um, where's my pen here? You know, we have this this going on here. I'm pretty strong. I'm actually like hella rich, right? <laughs> Somehow I'm hella rich, yo. Uh, that's actually insane. Uh, sure, we might have a small level disadvantage, but I'm about to get this wave down bot. Uh, wow, this game looks really good. Our 701 top laner. Okay, so what happened, right? So let's take a look. Um, so here, we're gonna be very much, of course, pushing this wave in. And it's, it's actually really important to kind of uh, notice Know when you should be in lane ideally for the wave. And what I mean by that is when do you go push? You want to be there before the minions meet, ideally, okay? Before the minions meet at your tower, before the minions meet in the middle, whatever. And after we push, we can go help this, whatever the hell this is. And then once, you know, once we can't do anything, we go back to pushing, right? So you'll see here that we just saw Tristana push. So what happens if I don't go push bot? Well, you start losing XP and income. Right. And what are you realistically doing here? You know, you're not really you're not really doing anything, actually, right? Whatever this is, there's nothing you can really do to come help, right? This is this is just straight up isn't this just straight up uh you know three v four or uh two v four even, right? Um so the instant you know you really you recognize nothing is going to change when you come, that's the that's the worst. Okay. You go do something and you have no impact on the fight, even though you think you're helping. You're walking here, hey guys, this is a fight breaking out. I'm coming to help. I can help this. Versus you're losing guaranteed income and XP bot, that which you need to scale to be useful, all right? So if you watch this, you know, they just killed a teammate and we have nothing to keep them from staying. So what happens if you sit mid? Oh, there's hella wasting time. Oh, I'm killing this ward, still wasting time, right? You need to be there when the wave meets. Right now, I need to be there now. You see what I'm saying? When the wave meets. You need to be there before the wave meets, ideally, okay? So if you don't get there before the wave meets, you're actually currently losing minions. You see this? I'm like, actually, like these minions are actually dying. That's a problem because well, now you're forced to go and something could happen, right? You're forced to go and something could still question mark happen mid, right? Before it was question mark happen mid, you can go pick up this wave. Now it's like, oh shit, now you're stuck because now you have to go pick up this wave Otherwise, it's doomed. That's why you need to you need to show up before these min minions meet, so you can buy yourself the most time, right? And you gotta push on another wave, right? Remember, we gotta push into the tower ideally. So uh, if you can't push this wave into the tower, you gotta keep going, right? Or you need to find the opportunity to keep going, right? Oh, I was lagging this game apparently. So, anyways, you see this going on here. Uh, we pushed. We're looking to help this dragon, uh, but in fact, 
there's nothing to do here. There's no fight yet. You come after the fight starts, right? Usually on ADC. So what do we need to do? We need to push, get as much minions as possible, and make sure we're not dying while doing so. Right here, we can just go bot. No problem, right? So what happens if you don't go bot? You lose more minions. You lose waves. When you, when you lose waves, you lose waves of XP, okay? You see this? Oh, do they need your help? No. If something happens, you come after the fact, all right? You need to show up after the fact, not before the fight, because there's a whole lot of nothing going on. Even the most well-intentioned of ADCs trying to help their team are actually hurting their team by not maximizing the XP. CS and XP. I want you to think of it as XP is just as important as CS, because while he is getting XP, I am not. He's already, he's getting, he's about to be a level up on me, right? So, oh, I started this dragon, boom. Instantly, you didn't push bot. You lost another wave, right? So let's fast forward here. We like started the dragon, we lost a wave bot. And then we're sharing mid because, uh, you know, why not, I guess, right? We're looking, at, we're looking to take down mid tower, but <laughs> no one's going top, right? You see, and you're starting to see a pattern here. I have not gotten a wave in the last minute and a half, or last minute, right? So, okay, eventually someone's going top, right? Which is nice. So here, everything is fine. Let's keep going. Um, see this this is another the exact same thing right you see something happened bot what can you realistically do to help this you need to push mid right unless you're guaranteed to get something you need to push mid and how do we know we need to push mid because this is man disadvantage without a zero being top that's how you know you showing up will not help your team in any way whatsoever barring like extenuating circumstances like they're omega chasing towards you and you can push and then go help right you need to push you need to push you go help i want you to think this is like a chase when you show up something good must happen that's what i want you to think when you show up something good must happen if you want to do this and you're not sure if something good will happen you must have already pushed you must have already gotten this wave you see a you see a pattern here, right? We we're about to lose so far in this game two two and a half waves, right? Or oh, actually, I do end up pushing. Wow, thank God. Uh, oh shit! Please let me push. I need to push. See, you see, it's like super late. Like you could have actually even taken taken rates too. Your your jungle's dead. You can take wolves. Right? Look at all this income. Oh my God! You can take blue. Like you need to be you need to be you need to be pushing. Okay, you need to be doing something useful during the game. Otherwise, you know, as a carry role, we're not making enough money. Actually, we just got jacked. <laughs> Yo, check it out. We just got jacked in XP and money because we were so late in pushing. Earlier showed up and took half the XP and actually, you know, the wave the wave got super doomed, right? We actually got no <laughs> It's awful, right? Okay. So this is why this is why it's important. Timing is important in the sense that, you know, we need to we need to be pushing these waves. We need to be clearing these waves. We need to be making a conscious decision to maximize our income, right? Here we have an item. Azir can pick up the wave. That's fine. Uh, we fast forward a little bit. Uh, here we're pushing, although, you know, we're sharing XP with E, which is unfortunate. 131, this is fine. Let's keep going. Um, fast forward, fast forward. So, okay, the rest of this is pretty good since we're sitting mid and we're not sharing. That's really good, right? You, do, you really don't want to share XP. Um, but if you notice, you know, why are we missing 30, 20, 30 minions? Oh, you know, I think we have missed 20, 30 minions worth of opportunity, right? Um, and it's very important to know that as you're looking to push these waves out, like right here, I should be thinking about pushing mid. You need to make sure you're not dying as well, right? Because if you die for it, then there's no point, right? If you, if you die while trying to push, there's like no point, right? So here we're like starting this. It's for... <laughs> It's 4v4. This is kind of empty. Don't do this either. Okay. You know, if, you, if you have the option to push and do something productive versus starting a dragon, which we know if you don't have an advantage is not a good idea, you would rather push and then look to control the dragon. All right. You can't do this in reverse order. You can't look to do the dragon and not push. You see this? You go to the dragon immediately after you push the current wave. All right. Watch this. I want you to watch this. Immediately after you push the current wave. Right here. We push this, then we can go dragon, right? You see how long we're taking? Right? Okay, dragon now. Of course, we can't dragon now, but this is our time to go set it up, right? We go set it up, go back to push, right? You have a certain amount of time to do things, and this time is based on, you know, your carries being able to push these waves, otherwise you're losing out on income and XP, okay? So it's, it's the same story over and over again. And what happens when you guys do this trolling dragon and you, no, one's, no one's pushing mid, you're losing. 
You're losing your lead. You're literally losing your lead. That's actually what's happening. Okay. You're 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 currently losing your lead. You're doing nothing here. You're not realistically stopping this dragon or hey, I have to be here just in case my team fights. No, you should have been pushing mid and then coming to see if you can help, right? Because like look how long it took for us to do anything. Like we actually can't even do anything here, right? And it's this is the average case right here. What you're seeing here, what, what I'm doing right here, is the average case if you're just trolling by not pushing out your waves. You lose the wave mid. And you didn't get anything done because realistically speaking, there was nothing to be done. There was not even a fight yet, right? So a bunch of wasted time. And on top of that, we actually lose the fight here, right? Um, so I mean, we can, we can watch this. But uh, Tristan is actually... If you look at Tristana's lower here, check it out, check it out, check it out. What happened? Lost three waves. Three, three plus waves, right? Of solo XP and farm. So that's what happened, right? And you know that's why we're actually at a disadvantage in this fight. Um, so you could say like, oh, we should have played this fight properly too. But you never really want to kind of be stuck in this situation due to like a brain mistake. You know what I mean? This is like a different mistake. This is like a team fighting mistake. This is, a, this is what I call team fight awareness. Yeah, we're busy killing this guy. So once this guy's marked for dead, look at this. This tells you don't walk up because one v two, you don't have abilities to beat Tristana. You know. It, 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 it's a little advanced, but um, yeah, very much the if if you die because of this, uh, don't don't worry about it as much. Sure, it's something to work on, but very much you need to look at the decision making. That's the most important. Like here, uh, we need to go top, right? Zero on mid, we gotta go top, right? Uh, if we jerk off doing whatever is going on here, we're gonna have a problem, right? So uh, <laughs> we need to go top, guys. After we kill this guy. And uh, why do we go top and not do Baron? Because we literally can't do Baron without them stopping us, right? Cleds up in five seconds because it's five v four. Doesn't mean you can do it. Uh, you know, if you if you have disasters, this is also part of like decision making, not losing your lead. Don't don't buy into disasters for um, the Baron, right? So I'm like pinging. They haven't engaged. We literally can't take it. You know, we can't tank it. We can't kill it. We can't turn unless it's a blitz hook. It's it's bad, right? So don't start Baron randomly either. Okay, you need a you need a strong like your Eve is dying, dude, and we can't kill it fast enough without mountains. So, um, you know, when in doubt, stick to the consistent option you know to be good, which is farming, right? Pushing out these waves. So you guys lose a fight like this. Oh, guess what? This Tristan is getting even further ahead. Okay, and uh, it, it feels like there's nothing you can do because there really wasn't anything you could do here, right? Was there anything we could do here? Not really. Right? It's just really bad idea in the first place. So a bunch of these, and, and not only that, but you did you also lost the top wave, by the way. And you lost the bot wave, by the way. And you're going to lose mid wave, by the way, because your, your whole team died. So you see a common trend here, right? Do bad things leads to losing a bunch of waves and or not paying attention to waves loses a bunch of waves, okay? So you just fast forward here. You know the result by now. Uh, you know, you lose a bunch of waves and XP. You fast forward. He's three levels up on us. It doesn't matter what this KD is, KD is okay? Especially at the higher elos when people are uh, knowing, <laughs> they know a little bit more about the game. This man has a full item on me and three levels. We lost. So it's, it's, it's almost uncombackable unless we get like four kills or something, right? We, we really have no way to catch up. So you want to avoid this where you lose a ton of waves. So how can we prevent this? We make good habits uh, based off of our mid-game decision-making where we ask ourselves, can I push out this wave or can I get this wave? Or am I currently losing XP and income? Can I prevent it? So if you are losing XP and income, if you don't go, go before the wave meets and make sure you can beat whoever shows up, right? Or if you need your teammate there, you need to ask them to come with you, okay? So let me show you an example of how we actually do this, okay? So remember, it is very similar to our 10 CS mini video, but I want you to kind of look at it from also a decision-making standpoint, like the whole um, uh, uh, Baron starts, Dragon starts, those are all very involved, not just wave, uh, looking at waves, right? Because every time you do make like a doomed decision or like a, a suboptimal decision or like a decision where you're legit not gonna get anything out of it, you're also losing, losing income and XP from that too, okay? Like for example, we lost that Dragon fight, therefore I can't go push, right? Um, or we lost that Baron fight, so uh, we're falling even further behind, right? So that's definitely stuff you wanna avoid. Okay, let me fast, let's fast forward to the mid game, okay? I want you to pay attention to what we're doing and what we're prioritizing. So here we're taking red as silver pushes, instantly coming here top before the wave meets the tower, before the wave meets the wave. 
That's this is the this is ideal. I want you to think this is ideal. Okay, so we come here, we we'll push this out. Sure, Remus is like catching Sivir. Not really that important, right? We're just here to. I mean, it's a free kill, I guess, but uh, we're just here to push this wave out, right? So push this wave out. We double check to make sure we can't die because they engage. We're fine, right? We have Remus and Morgana. We're gonna push and maximize our income. Okay, we're actually gonna make a mistake here. Um, and I know because uh, not not only is this a common pattern we see in our games, but also I watched the replay beforehand. But we're about to hit the tower here, and uh, we're not really ready for this because Ramis is uh, not here. So pushing the wave, totally fine, right? Pushing the wave, as long as you can get away with it, is fine, right? So if I kill all these minions and run, we're good to go. But uh, I'm wasting time by hitting the tower, right? So when you see this Jarvan, yo, uh, I think we need to leave, guys, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, don't turn around for the tower. Remember, it's all about the waves. And the income. Waves and income. See this? Dunzo. Right there. You hit the tower twice. Dunzo. Wow. That sucks. Right? So make sure you're not throwing by hitting this when you're not supposed to. Your team is literally not ready to help you push this tower down. So uh, yeah, you're just naturally going to lose. Right? Unless you have some outplay ready. You have some outplay available to you. So uh, yeah, Zillion's coming. And uh, we're about to get engaged on. And uh, I mean, we could watch this. It's kind of fun to watch. But, you know, he, do he doesn't land shit. <laughs> this man don't land shit. And we lost. I want you to think about this. He didn't land anything except for ulti. Watch. He fucking... This is, this is season 9. Missed every... Auto attack? Ulti. That's, what, that's, that's, that's the point I want you to get across. He just fucking hit us three or four times and he ultied. And uh, we're gonna we're actually gonna lose this. Like we're actually gonna lose this. That's how that's how insane this is. Okay. So that's that's like the point I want to make is that um, a point I want to make is that sieging, like they can just play like monkeys and they're still gonna win. Okay. That's what I want you to think. You need a you need some kind of way to beat their engage if you want to siege, right? Um, so yeah, don't do that. You want to go for the minions and uh, be happy that you got the minions. So we're back to business as usual. Okay, let's watch this actually. Something's going on, but there's a dragon up. We can't contest. That's fine. We need to push top. You can't con don't don't spend time contesting stuff. You literally can't fight when you could be doing something consistent instead, right? So right now it's kind of even in CS and levels for ADCs, right? Like this, right? Fairly even. I actually have some more money than her because I have two kills. This this item versus nothing, right? Um, but levels are even. Okay, I want you to look at the levels. Levels are really, 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 really important. All right. So here, make the decision to go top. Why don't we go mid? Because our mid laner or our top laner is about to go mid. Is it going to rotate like this? Everyone needs their own lane of farm. Okay. So you can't forget this. You, you really can't forget this this season because minions move super fast. They kill their other minions super fast as well. You don't have time to screw around. All right. In the mid game, it's really, it's really insane. How how often? Not only I but other people forget this idea. You need to go push and you need to go do it fast, right? You need to go get these minions, you need to do it fast, right? Because if you're not here before the wave meets, by the time you realize you need to get there, the enemy wave is already dead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, here, we're, you know, we're looking for more waves to, to fix our income. So, here we're getting Scuttle Crab, right? And then we're going to go top for another wave, right? It's, it's all the same idea. Where can I go to make as much money as possible? Oh, actually, here we're making sure they're not collapsing on us, right? Um, we're making sure they're not taking, like, the, the fast route through our jungle. And then once we're sure of that, I can go back and push, right? I'm like, oh, okay, we're, I mean, it's, it's good. I could have could have gone top a lot faster, but you get the idea, right? We're looking to make sure we can't... Uh, we're make, looking to make sure we're not losing minions, uh, we get there before the wave meet ideal uh, waves meet ideally, and once we check for that, we make sure they can't engage on us while we do it. So of course we look at the map, and here I'm gonna I'm gonna try and push another. Right, I see Renekton. I'm like, okay, Renekton and Jarvan, let's push, right, uh, and make sure that as long as they're not rotating from mid, we can push. So we're just watching the map here, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna push now. Right, when we deem it's safe, we push. And what are we gonna do? Oh, this time we don't hit the tire, just in case they're rotating from mid. Right, uh, they actually rotated to bot. In this example, but if you're not sure, you might as well be safe than sorry. Another thing you can do is use this blue trinket to immediately find out what they're doing. So if they're not showing up, immediately push, right? You can do that too. That's another option. Um, but this one's just pretty pretty basic. It's just AFK and wait to see what happens. And then we go and push again, right? I, I promise you, you need to get here before the wave, before the wave meets. This is like the shallow. So there's a good habit you need to, you need to be making. It's like two or it's like two or three steps deep. Make sure you're not losing your income. Get there before the waves meet, or the wave meets the tower, and make sure you can't die. If you can do this three-step process, it's like clean. You're making you're making money, 
okay? Um, so let's fast forward here. You have, you know, 180 CS at 19 minutes is great. And uh, we're even, uh, if not pulling ahead of Sivert, right? I mean, what happened to her CS? Like, let's let's back it up here. I'm at 180 to one, or 150, right? What happened here? Hold up. She must have uh, missed something, right? Wait, she like made no money. <laughs> she, she made 14 CS? <laughs> what? She made like 14 CS in this when I made like 30 CS, right? Am I, am I insane? Wow, that's actually insane, right? So she's making the same mistake, okay? Um, that I was the game I showed you before. She's not maximizing your income. She's missing waves somehow. Uh, you, I promise you, if you start losing waves and or levels, you're just you're just not gonna be able to carry the game, right? That's where ADCs are strong. Okay, random fight breaking out. We can watch this. Here we based after we pushed it out, right? We're doing uh, we're looking for camps, but Ramus wanted it. We're gonna base. We're gonna run mid, right? If you're not sure where to go, we run mid, and then we go to a side lane if we have to. Um. Here it's like, oh, we're considering bot, we're considering top. Of course, we would prefer top or mid because Baron is on, right? So sit mid, uh, some kind of fight broke out. So we're about to, uh, <laughs> uh, we see Renekton's trying to fix top. Uh, we're like, oh, okay, we can, we can, we can engage here. Um, oh, Sivir show top, this is free as hell. So, you know, when you see free opportunities, because, you know, we, we, did push, we did push top first before we based, right? Um, someone went to pick up top, we just have a free, easy, um, engage and then all this is all mechanical stuff. You guys can you can watch this if you want. But um, oh, that was a that was a sad heal. I thought heal range was bigger than that, but obviously not. So yeah, uh, I am I am <laughs> I am much further ahead than she is due to the fact that we have a little bit more income than her, right? And uh, she did come out of lane with a, a slight loss. So yeah, we get to pick up all this stuff, and not only that, but we get to push after we win this fight, right? They keep things consistent. That's really that's really what you're looking for. Consistency and money. Like here, I actually could have gone top. Right? We're looking for jungle camps. You can even push top. Or I thought those minions would be dead. So actually you probably want to get there in time. But uh you can push this one right here. And then uh we say are we losing so here's the habit that I just did right there. Am I losing minions? Yes. If I don't push it into tower, I'm losing that wave. Can they uh uh, uh can I get there like before it meets? The, my wave? And the answer is yes, right? Third, can they stop me? That's what you need to check for. In this case, they have three TPs. We think they're going to TP behind this. We leave it. That's fine, right? So, I mean, I don't know if you saw uh, the pause here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I don't know if you can see, but um, right here. A triple TP, okay? So I kind of have lost track of TPs. I'm going to make sure that we're not trolling the Baron by dying by pushing the wave. That's fine. Okay, like same same with Rengar being like 10 and 0. You can't push the wave because he's he's missing. Okay, sometimes it'd be like that. But I, I promise you, like eight times out of ten, you can you can fight for the wave. Right? That's kind of what you're looking for. Um that's forward. We're still looking to make money, so we go mid, right? Sure, sure, sure. All this is kind of making sense to you guys now, I hope. Um, and this is like this is like the basis of your decision making. That's what I want you to think. The map, the waves where people are that's the basis of your decision making all right um this guy's just dying you, you can't save this guy so don't try it's very much uh very much the same idea as the last game except uh, i properly did it this game right because we're not inting with our team we can actually pick up midwave and actually stop the baron right so we actually got to pick up midwave thank god uh <laughs> unlike the other game uh we even got it this wave we got half of this wave totally fine and we can fight the baron right so they actually did the same baron throw that we did last game uh, just because you get a kill or something doesn't mean you can just do Baron. And it's actually funny because this this Sivir is the, literally the reverse of us, right? If you think about it, this Sivir is the reverse of us this game, but I was playing like Sivir, the game I showed you before, right? I actually played this game like right after the Sivir game uh, because I was like, holy shit, I need to work on my mid game. I literally just lost to my, my own macro. And you see, oh my God, look at the, look at the difference. Wow. Look at the difference. It's literally the same. It's literally the same as last game, except uh, this time I'm the Tristana and he's the he's the he's the feeding Kalen or the trolling Kalen, right? So you need to make sure you keep your lead with this these habits, making sure you're not losing income for no reason. You need a very good reason to give up a wave, and that's like a fight is happening in your face, and you you can like kill people, or you need a, you can help kill people, right? Um, or you can rush Baron. 
right? Sometimes Infernal Dragon or whatever valuable dragon can be worth a wave two, right? But uh, yeah, it, it definitely has to be a very strong reason for you to give up your scaling. That's what I want you to think. You're giving up your ability to carry the game later by not going to pick up these waves, right? So here I'm taking red. I'm literally gonna go. I'm literally gonna go. Uh, oh, actually, I was gonna go top here, and then I saw that. Uh, there's some crazy shit happening over there, a bot. And then I was like, ah, okay, everyone's inting. That looks really bad. I'm just going to push mid, right? So I can't get here in time. I need to push, right? And then maybe I can show up. So I don't know what's going on here, but if you can't get there in time, I want you to think like guaranteed, like consistency. That has to be, you going bot has to be more consistent than you pushing this. Like we saw this in the last game too, where I made a mistake by doing that, right? And, but this time I'm like, I'm picking the wave. I'm like, yo, screw you guys, y'all. In solo queue, these guys are trolling. We need to go push everything, dude. I'm pushing everything, dude. I'm making all the money. All right. This is how you this is how you get your <laughs> this is how you keep your lead and even extend your lead, right? I'm like I'm like, yo, I went mid, I went top, we picking up extra waves. I'm I'm picking up the waves my teammates are giving up by dying, right? I even got another one mid. Look at this. I just picked up four waves in the span of like a minute, right? Dude, five waves. Five waves in like a minute and 30 seconds. Oh my god, and we're going top. Um, this one they tried to like hide in a bush from me, so I ping my jungler here. Yeah, they were they they th they were on a, they were like on wards, so they kind of trolled. You just kill them here with man advantage. Sure, that's fine. Um, but I was going top for the wave, so yeah. Um, if they're trying to stop you, you can you can counter them too, right? Let's say you think Rengar is gonna assassinate you. Say Lulu hide behind me. We're gonna we're gonna kill this we're gonna kill this fool when he shows up, right? So yeah, um, same same principle still, and we need to push though. We still need to push. Remember, it's always about am I losing income? Can I get there before the waves meet? Um, the wave meets the tower. The wave meets the wave. Can they stop me? Right? That's a three point step. Something's going on, bot. I don't care. I need to push. I can't help that. I want you to think, fight breaks out, then you consider helping. It's not a fight might break out. I need a. I'm considering going beforehand. No, no, no. Unless someone is pinging. Hard engage, we're forcing a dive. I don't, I don't know what's up. You still need to push first, okay? So here, we made so much money in the last like, in the last like two, three minutes. This is like where your, your, your brain shows, right? As an ADC. We made so much money, it's insane. Um, okay, someone got caught. We're just like trying to kite it out, right? Uh, you've seen this story before. You just, you just don't commit and then uh, take things really slow. So we're just chilling here. Make sure... Uh, Make sure we're not like dying or anything so we can go kill kill creeps, right? We even pushed mid. That's kind of funny. <laughs> the, they killed two of us, but we still got to push mid because they lost a lot of health, right? So very nice. And then we can just go take jungle camps, right? Uh, we can pick up the mid wave. We can go home for for uh, a base. I want you. I want to show you the uh, kind of um, difference in uh, bot lane right now. Uh, if I can show you here. Soon TM. Hello. Testing. Okay. Ah, yes. What do you think? 65 CS lead good enough? Um, and a level lead? Not it's not it's not a level lead by the way. It's two level lead once I get a, a wave and a half or just some jungle camps, right? So, levels and CS and wow, would you look at that? I am not only I <laughs> I am two items on her, okay? So, th this is very important. All right. I want I promise you if there is a brain macro decision making skill you need as an ADC, it is being able to play around waves. Then it's team fighting. Okay. Well, actually, okay, for lower elo, it's team fighting first, right? But uh when you start when you're a diamond player or up, this is like the first thing you need to master. Otherwise, you will be outclassed by someone who knows this and who can you know consistently do this. Right here. You see this? What did I do wrong? Push mid first, unless you think you can't push because they're engaging, right? Push mid first. And if you want to give up that wave mid, it better be because this dragon is worth it, right? You're currently losing minions, solo XP, whatever. I mean, I, I, you, you, if when in doubt, your default is push, okay? When in doubt, your default is get the minions first. So, yeah, um, that's 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 that should be your default, guys. Okay, maximize your income. And if you don't know how to recognize if you're losing minions or not, you need more experience. Like, look at this. Like, I got blindsided by these guys, and I am so high level and so rich with this Phantom Dancer, it doesn't even matter. Like, that's how insane your your mid-game can be. You just outstat them. Like, literally outstatted them with my item advantage. Um, yeah, poor server's gonna get run down. Like I said, there's a two-level lead, right? And you just win the game because you're super strong. So, no problem. Um, but yeah, if there is like a, a the big habit you need to take away here for keeping your lead, it's 
looking at the map, recognizing if you don't go to the side lane or mid lane, are you going to lose these minions? Get there before the minions meet, if possible. Make sure that you can't die to someone who shows up, right? And if you can die, stay in the area until they show up, and then uh, you can, you know, they push into you, you can clear it, or they show up somewhere else, you can push it, right? So yeah, um, I know it's kind of long, it's like 30 minutes, but I wanted to kind of show you these two examples because it's really good to have contra contrasting um, ideas, one where the thing that everyone does, the first game I showed you where we fell behind, and the other one, the what that which you can do to gain an advantage over your opponents every game in the mid game, all right? Um, so this is how you keep your lead, all right? Remember this three step habit, three, three, kind of like three levels deep, all right? Are you losing minions? The, the first step is the, is the hardest and most important. All right. So yeah, definitely um, tr try, making, uh, try making this your priority in the mid game and let me know how things turn out. All right. I promise you, this is uh, if you're hard stuck like diamond and above, this is, is probably what you're missing. All right. So if you play, if you play a carry lane. All right. So uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time.